Hello, Virgo. This is a bonus reading for you for mid-September 2019 for Virgo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Bonus reading for Virgo. Bonus reading for Virgo. Positive energies, hopefully. New energies, hopefully, for Virgo. It's going to be the five-card spread. And I got those angel uh, romance cards, and I'll put a few of them out also for those that are interested in love only. But this is what the universe is trying to convey to you now. The energy is coming in. Remember, it will not resonate with everyone. And I always look for a positive reading. But sometimes you can't, you know, get one. This is about the Two of Swords in Reverse. The Two of Swords in Reverse is someone finally taking off the blindfold. Finally letting their swords down. Finally letting things in their lives. In the past position, we got the Fool card. The Fool card is in the upright. And it's about someone taking in a new adventure, jumping into something new, something exciting, something uh, they're not really thinking about at first. They're just jumping into it, you know. It's not like they're going to weigh all, everything out. So it's kind of haphazardly, you know, jumping into something, but also something kind of exciting, new, and to me, fun. It's not a stagnant card. Obstacle, Page of Rods is sending out messages sending out um, passionate messages. Maybe you're wanting to do this and maybe you haven't done it yet. Maybe um, you're expecting a message from somebody. For some of you, you'll be dealing with a fire sign. It could be Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I see this as someone that is young at heart also at times. It is an obstacle. And like I said, we'll clarify this. And once I start clarifying, it does change up the story. So like I said, bear with me. Current environment, the emperor, things are a little out of control. Maybe you're dealing with an out-of-control situation. Um, or maybe you feel like someone is over-controlling in your life. For a few of you, this could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be. They usually like to call this the Aries card. Um, but it's basically a lack of control in some way. What is coming towards you? Someone doesn't want to argue and fight anymore. Maybe someone wants to lay down their swords and don't want to argue. We did have that two of swords where someone was putting down their swords. This is also like that, but it's also it's from an argument. You know, they don't want to fight. They don't want to bicker. They don't want to battle. Someone also could feel a little a little defeat. You know, feeling defeated when it comes to you or your situation. But we will see. And I, like I said, I'll clarify. Final outcome. Someone gets a little defensive. Someone doesn't want to um, fight, but I'm seeing in the end someone does get a little defensive. So let's find out what that is. And then, like I said, we'll pull like three romance cards. I don't usually like to use them as much anymore because they're out of print and they're kind of expensive. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on a new uh, deck, but it's not coming in till, it's not available to the end of November. So let's go back to the past. Jumping into something new. Taking a leap of faith. Just, you know, non-stagnation. So the Fool card in the upright, why are you there for Virgo? Something wants to come out and I'm going to let it. With the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Air sign Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Someone intelligent, though. Someone wise. Someone wants to give you counsel, maybe, on a, something you want to jump into. Something that you want to do. But the Fool card in the upright, Queen of Swords there in the past. For Virgo, just don't want to shuffle. Why are you there for Virgo in the past? Yeah, someone didn't get wish fulfillment. Someone's, I'm thinking someone wants to give you advice on a new venture that you're going to do or a new situation you're jumping into. And they want to talk to you about it, but you don't wish this. You don't want this with the Nine of, um, nine of Cups. Or maybe they don't wish for you. Someone's not wanting you to jump into something new because they feel that um, you're not thinking about it as much. You're not thinking about it fully enough in your life. The obstacle is a page of rods, and I already said what that could be, but let's find out with a clarifier. Page of rods, <clears throat> this one's to come out. Someone's hermit mode. It's I'm thinking for a lot of you the obstacle is to get out and do something that's new. You're not you're thinking about it too much. You're um, it says get more passionate about what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to jump into. Maybe you're having second thoughts, maybe it's because people are trying to talk you out of it. <clears throat> whatever is coming up. So the page of rods, the hermit, both in the upright, why are you there for Virgo as the obstacle? 
that is your card I do believe the, uh, the hermit is your card and make a final decision on what you're wanting to do make a solid decision what you're wanting to do with the judgment and the upright now the current environment things are a little out of control like I said you may be dealing with someone out of control someone around you that's a little um, over controlling sometimes you know it could be a boss spouse could be anything like that but someone's trying to come out the world card and a few others I'm gonna let it what the heck yeah someone's not walking away from an over controlling situation they're wanting their happily ever after could have to do with the Queen of Pentacles for some of you for some of you or some of you are just not feeling real stable or secure in your lives right now for others you'll be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo and you want to end a you know karmic cycles you're wanting to start something new and end something that wasn't working out and starting something new but you're dealing with over controlling situations that you're having trouble walking away from even though you want your happily ever after you don't feel real stable right now enough to do so and go into something totally new with the world card but if the energy is there so it says that you can do it but you're just having trouble I don't know manifesting it in some way maybe you lack motivation it could be just the energies that we're having this month but it's basically an over controlling situation that's around you and you can't walk away from it right now or you thinking you can't but you can now the outside environment this is the five of swords this is something beyond your control the outside environment what is coming towards you this is the five of swords in reverse so the five of swords in reverse while you're there for virgo in mid-september on two want to come out and we'll let it yeah, someone wants to come out of taking a break and they don't want to fight anymore over an emotional situation that may have gotten out of control for some of you be down with the water sign i see all the signs here so it don't matter and, you know it doesn't have to be a you know one sign in all way but the king of si king of cups i don't know what that the king of cups is like a pisces cancer or scorpio at times it can be but it also could be someone who's just really the emotions were just all over the place and someone wants to come out of taking a break and they do not want to fight no more but the, the current environment something is a little over controlling so um maybe they want to rectify that in some way but someone is still arguing i see someone wants to let down their swords too in the end we got the seven of wands does someone get a little defensive you know they if someone's wanting to come and have an argument with you and this is them getting defensive this is not such a good idea with virgo to get defensive with them if they want to lay down their swords and maybe you just don't want to deal with them you may be saying something to them someone around you maybe someone who was over controlling at one time or maybe you're the one over controlling but so you, you you may not want to lay down your swords with them even though they want to lay down their swords with you and you may get defensive is what i'm trying to say but let's find out seven of wands in reverse while you're there for virgo in the very end and i'm going to lay out three of those romance cards uh someone's a little defensive because they're carrying a burden maybe they're tired maybe they're exhausted maybe they're overworked and that's why they're defensive so seven of wands in reverse ten of wands in the upright while you're there for virgo in the very end and the sun are just not happy right now someone's just irritated someone's really irritated and like i said this could be you irritated you know snapping at them the people that want to put their swords down or vice versa sometimes these energies do flip but the current environment someone's over controlling and someone can't walk away and all they want to be is happy and start something new but they're feeling like you know there's too much instability around them could have to do with someone you were partnered with that you had an ex-partnership with or a broken contract with the Hierophant in in reverse now we are going to um let's look at the angel cards and see what they got to say about this or you know it could be a different situation love because this may be a work situation i'm going for love right now with this uh three card reading from the romance cards because people have been asking me why don't you do love well these romance cards first of all they're expensive now and i don't want to ruin them but you know why have them around you're not going to use them right and they're also very hard for me to shuffle look how small my hands are so this three cards for virgo three cards for virgo we need something about love for virgo for uh mid-september on for virgo try shuffling these three cards i need three cards 
let go of control issues. Then I just say something was uh, kind of controlling. Let go of control issues. Um, whether you're doing it or somebody else, it doesn't matter. Allow the situation to unfold naturally so people don't get defensive, you know. Current fi finances and career. You're looking for a new beginning in finances and career. We talked about that. Now here I'm in at, lo looking for love. But it's, t it's saying like you're focused more on this. Let go of control issues. And it could have to do with your family and your loved ones or someone you were in a relationship to let go of this. Even, you know, you know you're going towards your career. And maybe the people around you need to let go of control issues so you can focus on your life and get security again. And release your ex. So it does, I did see an ex-partner there, the hair of font in reverse. So let go of control issues or, or whatever, whoever else is watching this. Let go of control issues. This person needs, Virgo needs to uh, focus on their finances and career, career to become more stable. So they can have a relationship the way it's intended. And to release your ex right now so you can regain stability and you're happily ever after. That's what it's saying. You saw me shuffle it. You saw the control card there twice. And we also see, I also saw you jumping into something new, something um, kind of exciting, like I said. But for you to do this, you're having trouble releasing a controlling situation, whether they're doing it or you're doing it. You're having trouble with that. And it says to release your ex. And I did see the hair font in reverse, you know, in the other reading. So, yeah, it's pretty accurate. This, this is your reading, and it's just a bonus reading. I'll be giving you another one soon because Libra season is coming up, and, and energies are becoming more relaxed, and I'm sure it'll change for Virgo. I have no doubt about that for a lot of you. But this is your reading, and it's a bonus reading, and um, I'll upload it as soon as I can. Talk to you later. Bye.